printed the stadiums uh, in a 3D printers, in a scale. In the university, we invested in a big wind tunnel and we looked at the weather file for Doha for the last 30 years and how the wind infiltration of wind will, in, and will interact with the stadium and where I wanted to uh, put that cold air and, and form that bubble and keep it there. So I have 40,000 people in there under the same roof, cheering, jumping, enjoying the game. And each one of us, by the way, that we are giving a lot of heat and um, roughly about two laptops of heat. And at the same time, we are breathing, we are sweating. So we put a lot of moisture in that environment. So I cannot put 40,000 people, which is roughly 80,000 laptops in a space for four hours without giving them a sort of ventilation. So we are purifying that air, uh, recycling that air. So it's not about temperature, it's about humidity, it's about um, air pollutant control. because football is a beautiful game and it should be for all and it should be played 24-7 no matter what was your weather.